How's it going guys, RXXC here, and I'm very excited to be back. It's been a long time. Uh, I'm really sorry about it, but as you can see, I've been hard at work on doing some things. Um, we moved apartments, uh, same complex, just different room, uh, and I was able to get this nice third bedroom to turn into a cool little office. Uh, and we actually kind of turned it into like a little studio, so I got my bookshelves here, we got the Bakugan side with all my Baku Master goodies and stuff like that. I got my shoes up there, the hat, uh, armband, headband. I guess I should probably put this on for the video. Uh, and uh, over here is kind of our other interests on the channel, and that is Pokemon. So um, there is a lot more Pokemon stuff than Bakugan stuff right now. Um, that's just kind of a, uh, you know, I can't really control that. I've been doing Pokemon since I was born, basically, and Bakugan's very new to me, but it's been very good. Uh, and that's what you all know me for, so I'm glad to have a whole side for that. Uh, but, um, with this, guys, um, working on lighting and stuff right now, I got yellow lights, I got one big white light that I'm trying to help, um, but that's coming. Uh, I hope to do like some LEDs and make this stuff look really cool. Um, but I can stand up now, I can move around, I can do all kinds of stuff. So hopefully our content gets a little bit better. So thank you guys for coming. Uh, and enough of that kind of stuff, let's get into the content of the video today, which is Bakugan Customs. Uh, I really have a, uh, a strong passion for this, really. I've done my own, I've got a couple, which you're going to see here in a second when we talk about them. Um, but I think it's really cool uh, to take a Bakugan and change the paint job on it and see what you can really do. Uh, and I've got a collection of Bakugan that people have sent me all from all over the world, around the internet. Uh, some other YouTubers and stuff like that, and I want to be able to show you guys those in a showcase kind of fashion. I'm not really going to be ranking them per se, uh, I feel like that kind of uh, takes away from the artistic value of what you're doing, uh, and I'm not one to criticize people uh, on artwork. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy what's coming, I'm going to head over to my desk and we're going to talk about these things, so I'll see you guys there, enjoy the intro. All right, guys, we're back. Let's get this thing started. So I've got quite a collection here of uh, some custom Bakugan, and uh, I want to uh, show them to you guys. So um, let's go ahead and start off with some of mine. I've only done a couple. Um, so I have these two guys. So this is a Darkest Nilius and a, um, well, so this one's kind of different because I did have a Pyrus Serpentis that didn't work, and I didn't really want to use it anymore. Um, so I was like, I'll just see what I can do. Um, what I wanted to do was paint this whole thing black and I hope somebody can take this idea and run with it because I really want to see it happen. Uh, but I wanted to paint it all black and like have like a venom theme. So like you see, I'll put this little star thing on it. I wanted that to be like the venom symbol, like the spider or whatever, and put that on there. And then, uh, like, you know, make the spider like come through the chest and stuff. Anyway, if somebody can make that happen and make that happen really well, uh, send it to me and you might be in the next one of these episodes. But, uh, so this is what I ended up with, uh, black and gold. Um, you see, uh, like the little star thing is actually like a skin tattoo and, um, it really worked kind of well. We found them at like one of those hobby stores or whatever. And, uh, you just like rub the water on it or whatever on the, like the back. Of, I don't know how my girlfriend did it. So. <laughs> I don't really know how it worked, but she rubbed it on there and it came off and, uh, it actually worked pretty well and it stays on there really well. Uh, it's up there on my shelf too. Um, so, uh, then I also went and got a paint pen, uh, a gold paint pen and just kind of like fine lined it and went through it. Um, same thing with the Nilius here, uh, cover the toes. This is just the darkest Nilius. So I tried to cover a lot of the purple, uh, and also changed his little, um, his little emblem in the front of him. Uh, there uh, from purple I think to green so I thought that that kind of worked well because it matched his eyes so I thought it ended up looking out looking really cool so here's the uh, here's these guys in ball form so I left some purple on the Nilius and I think it actually looks really good and uh, I filled in the neck so uh, I didn't do the I didn't do the raised portions I did the lowered portions and I thought it kind of worked out pretty cool uh, for the uh, Serpentis here, he has a lot of like striations and stuff on his wings and I filled a lot of those in with gold and I think that that made for a really cool effect. So um, those are mine. We'll get those out of the way. So now let's look at what some people in the community have done. 
All right, so uh, these are some uh, Bakugan from M Stubbs. Uh, he's a YouTuber. Uh, I'll put his link down in the description and stuff. Um, I actually met him at uh, Momocon, and we were playing around, and he had painted one for somebody else, I think Scarlet Skill, and um, it was like a Nilius, and it looked different. And I was like, is that a custom Bakugan? And he was like, yeah, he did it. And I turned, and M Stubbs was there, and he was like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Uh, but uh, this is his Dragonoid. So... I like his approach because it's very uh, minimalistic. It's um, or minimalist. I say words and they're not really words. Sometimes I don't know. It's kind of dumb. Uh, so forgive me. <laughs> but uh, he does very minimalist designs and uh, they look really cool. So like he'll take some of just the embosses and just fill them in with the accent color. And I think it looks really cool. So you can see on his dragonoid here uh, that he has like a really light hand and in the ball form. Um, like how he did the thing on like Dragonoid's head where it kind of makes it complete and like he filled out some stuff on the arms and stuff and then filled in that little hole he has down towards the bottom so I think it's actually pretty cool um, but yeah uh, so he has a couple other guys too uh, let's take a look at them uh, he has a Halcor uh, and also just kind of filled it in with the accent color uh, there's another Halcor we're going to look at later that's actually really cool uh, I like this one though because it's so minimalist uh, and he just kind of, man, I have these flies in my room and they're really annoying. I don't like it at all. Um, and so he really fills it in with like these, like, uh, with the accent colors and like the lines. So like on the Halcor's neck, he has those lines and stuff. He filled those in and it makes for a better aesthetic. Uh, you can see that too in this Fangzor. Uh, and he took the green from Darkus, which they kind of use very, uh, uh, very little in some of these paint jobs. Um, but he kind of like fine lined it and filled in some spots, like filled in the holes in the neck, uh, on the like frill or whatever, and just made it pop a lot. I really liked that. And I thought that that was very cool. His Pegatrix, uh, I wanted to show it because I think it's really cool. Uh, it reminds me of like the blue angels. Uh, if any of you know who that is, it's like a, like at those, uh, air shows that they do with like jets and stuff. The blue angels are like a professional, uh, plane, uh, air show deal. And they're like these F 18s, F 18 planes that are painted blue and gold, just like this. And it, uh, it was the first thing I thought of when I saw it. So I wanted to show that it's really cool. So let's look at somebody else. All right. So these are some Bakugan from a user named Nate dog. Uh, thank you for sending these to me. I appreciate it. Um, and first we're going to look at one of his Nilius designs. It's kind of uh, reminiscent of mine. He said he did a couple different things though. So like on his neck, uh, obviously he did silver instead of gold, which, Actually looks really good on this black. I'm really glad he did that. I wanted to see that. I was going to, but I decided against it. Uh, but I'm glad somebody did. So um, he used silver and he kind of did like this, like growing out and shrinking to the neck of Nilius. So like he did the whole one, then like a little bit less and a little bit less, and a little bit less, a little bit less as he went up. And that actually made for a really cool effect. Actually, it's really nice when it's in ball form. Um, I don't have that picture here, but um, if you look at like on his chest, he like filled out that like, sh that like symbol on his chest. Uh, and so, sorry, I had to cut there. Um, my new office is right next to the parking lot and my neighbor left and his truck is very loud. So I didn't want you to have to hear that. Anyway, back to this Nilius. Um, I think it looks really cool. He painted it silver, uh, really works well with the design and I think he did a good job on this. So, uh, moving on to his Krakelios, which I actually think is really cool because he filled in the like inset part of Krakelios' face. So uh, I think that worked really cool. Um, he said himself that he's going to go back and fill in the eyes. He just hadn't gotten around to it yet, but I went ahead and made the video anyway. Uh, you can kind of imagine what that's going to look like. So um, the ball form looks really nice. And then, of course, um, he added some extra silver and stuff and actually added like some gold gold onto it and it actually kind of makes it stand out and it's kind of like some layering to it. I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, so uh, I thought this was a really cool uh, idea and I'd love to see it done to like some different uh, colors of Krakelio. So somebody get on that and I, I want to see that in uh, one of the next videos. So let's move on to somebody else. This is uh, a collection of Bakugan from a uh, Discord user uh, Decaf. He told me he wanted to go by decaf, so that's what he's going by. Anyway, uh, so I love this Nilius. Um, the The idea of this Nilius is interesting to me because I want to see it done uh, like to like a higher extent. Not that there's anything wrong with this one. I love it. It's like red, white, and blue, and it's really cool. It's like America Nilius. Uh, I'm all about that, all right? So <laughs> I think it's really cool. But the way he did it is since Nilius is like based around having like two heads or whatever, 
um, it, uh, he like split personality. So like one side's blue and one side's red. And I think that's like such a cool idea for Nilius because it works so well because that's just how it kind of how he's made. It's so like in ball form. It's really cool because they're right next to each other. And it's kind of based around the cores he uses because he has a blue shield and a red fist. So it, it actually has a purpose. So it's probably not, <laughs> it's probably not based around America, but it's, uh, it's based around that. And it, it's fun to think about the America thing though so um really cool uh and in the front he even like split colored the little horn in Nilius's chest which is really hard to work around uh considering I, i've customized Anilius too uh so i can really give him compliments on that that's pretty cool uh his pegatrix is really cool uh i don't know what the inspiration on the coloration is um but uh he didn't do too much to it but he added this green and it's a cool little contrast so he colored the horn and colored the eyes and uh, did some work on the legs there, which is also really nice. His Halcor uh, is really nice. It's a Pyrus Halcor. And like he added some silver to it. Um, and it actually brings it out pretty nice. Uh, there's a little bit of work on the neck, on the wings, uh, but not too much on the inside. He did kind of paint the chest a little bit. Uh, right right now, like his sternum, if Halcor has a sternum. Uh, and I think that looks really cool. So good job, decaf. I really like what you did, but yeah, somebody expand on that split personality Nilius thing idea. I want to see that happen. Make that happen for me. Somebody. All right. Moving on to somebody else. All right. So we are now making our way into Ventus Traveler. Uh, he, uh, is a YouTuber. He's around all the reddits and discords and stuff. So, uh, I was happy to show his stuff off as well. So he has a Nilius. A lot of these are Nilius. Um, uh, I didn't do that on purpose. That's just kind of what got sent to me. But um, his Nilius is really detailed. It's very, very cool. He went really in-depth on this thing. My favorite part about this Nilius is that uh, on the head, he like colored the, the bottom chunk of the jaw to match the neck. And so it really separates uh, the head of Nilius. And it just brings out a lot more detail. You, you, you don't see that on Nilius normally. And he kind of just looks like a little frog head if you really look at him closely. Uh, and so this like breaks it up for me and it makes it make more sense. It's more reminiscent of the Nilius Ultra. So I think that that's really cool. So if somebody would paint this, excuse me, in the Nilius Ultra colors, uh, like a little black and then purple, I think that that would look really cool too. Uh, so I love his Nilius. Uh, here it is in ball form too. Um, the uh, paint job is not too bad on it, uh, actually. It's it, it's covering everything pretty well. So, uh, and very clearly... Um, very clearly chaos. So, okay, moving into some of his really cool stuff. I really enjoy these things. This serpentes, all right. This is an aquas serpentes. Now, uh, regarding the rule of does this stay in the faction, I I could see where people would disagree with this and say uh, no, sir. <laughs> um, but uh, in all actuality, if you look at the tail, uh, we all know how serpentes displays his uh, his B power on his tail. Um, that section is not painted and the B power is on blue. So, uh, if you were playing me and came to me with this and your B power sticker was on top of blue, uh, I could definitely see that that was blue. And I mean, his wings are blue and stuff like that, but this metallic, uh, coloration to the Serpentes is probably one of the coolest Bakugan designs I have seen yet. Um, I can imagine Bakugan themselves coming out with stuff like this and I'm really excited for that and I hope they do. So if you're watching, uh, Orlis Ancient, mm -hmm. I'm looking at you, sir. Uh, I would love to see this happen, man. Uh, I think that y'all could do a really good job of this stuff, and I think that people would be really excited for it. Next is his uh, Iron Man coloration of Trox, and y'all know I love Trox, so I love this thing. Um, I don't know if he had to take it apart to do this, because the head uh, is completely golded out, and so is the tail. Um, I would love to see this thing in ball form, but I didn't get that picture. Uh, but uh, it's definitely a Pyrus Trox. It's red, of course. And uh, he, he Iron Manned it out. It's really cool. It's got the, the Hot Rod Red. Well, the base Pyrus Red, but, you know, Iron Man is Hot Rod Red. And then, like, a really um, glittery gold paint to uh, bring out uh, Trox's face, feet, and tail. Uh, so, I really love this coloration of Trox. And this is one of the first Trox customizations I've seen. So, thank you for sending me this. I appreciate it. I love Trox. All right, now we make, make his way to what I'm calling the Mardi Gras Nilius because, first of all, I'm from Louisiana, so uh, Mardi Gras is very dear to my heart. It's a good time. Uh, if you haven't been to Mardi Gras in New Orleans, you need to go once in your life. Make it happen. 
Um, but this uh, Nilius is a full, complete uh, paint job on uh, a what seems to be a darkest Nilius. I say that because on the uh, spring, around the springs and around like the joints and stuff, there's black paint. Um, I didn't get a picture showing his B power, so I don't know if he left that black to you know designate that this is the darkest one. Um, but it's purple and green, so that is some of the darkest colors, so I can see where he can go with that. Uh, this one I would say, hey, don't bring to a tournament because people are going to say that that's not legal. So, uh, But paint job wise, I appreciate the full recolor. Uh, that's the kind of stuff I like to see just to see what people can do creatively. So I really appreciate this paint job and nice job on this one. Uh, lastly, we have his Pegatrix, which is like a uh, metaled out Pegatrix. It's Chaos. Um, it's very clearly Chaos. I wouldn't have a problem with this one whatsoever. Um, and it looks really cool. He's got that silver paint, uh, I guess the same one that he used on like his Serpentees, and uh, made it happen. It's really cool. Uh, it's like a metal on his legs. His wings are all silvered out, uh, and he's got some like cool stuff on his head. And again, he painted the, the bottom chunk of the mouth, and it brings it out so much more. I love the fact that he does that. So I love his style, and I can't wait to see more of what he does. So let's look at some Japanese Bakugan customs and these things are crazy. All right, and first we have some customs from our a custom from uh, a Twitter user named uh, Jinru Shimuru Shimuru. <laughs> I'm not very good at pronouncing uh, pronouncing Japanese stuff. I'm barely good at pronouncing English things. So uh, Jinru, I will call him, uh, has painted us this fantastic looking, metaled out. Uh, I would assume Aquas. Dragon actually it's on a pyrus dragonoid. Uh, I can see that because they only have pyrus dragonoid right now uh, And you can actually see it in the arms kind of tucked away. It's a little red uh, But this thing it's mecked out. It's metal. It's like hot rod blue The design of this thing is so so cool He did such a good job looking at it from the side. You really get a sense of the detail he put into it um he painted like some of the feet the uh, some markings on the wings his horn is blued out uh he painted that little uh part on the end of dragonoid's tail and it just looks so so good uh i would love to see more stuff like this if we could get some more uh so if you're watching i don't know if you watch my videos or anything like that but i would love to see some more work from you sir uh i i need it i <laughs> i love chromed out Bakugan like this it just it, the, the chrome brings out so much of the detail and I want to see more of that so um uh a plus from me sir so uh thank you for sharing this with the world uh let's look at a, another Japanese user and this one is going to be my number one for me on this video I didn't want to rank these but just by far this next one's insane so um this is coming from uh Hidei Womi Hidewomi or Hidewomi. Um, and if you go to his Twitter, he posts like a lot of really cool pictures of like really cool looking toys and stuff. I don't go around Japanese Twitter too much, but this stuff's really cool. But let's look at this Halcor. This guy did such a good job. Um, and this by far is one of my favorite customs I have ever seen because of the amount of work that went into it. Um, what he did was he completely customized the paint job on his Halcor to match the aesthetic of what he looks like in the show. And he nailed it. So like the snout of the Halcor is dark, dark gray. And his eyes, he changed to red. And then in his ears is green. And if you just hold up a picture, or I guess I'll put up a picture of Halcor from the show next to it. Um, you see that he just nailed the paint job from what he is on the show. If this was the actual paint job from Halcor that we could buy off the shelves, Halcor would by far be one of my favorite Bakugan. Uh, right now, he's just kind of a good boy because he is three dogs, so he's good boys, and um, I like him. But this is just an incredible, incredible version of the, the paint job on Halcor. Uh, I would love to see his take on maybe the other colors. Um, kind of hard to do because we haven't seen any other Halcors in the show. Um, but... Man, if, it, if this guy can get to work on some stuff, and I, I'm not even sure if he created this. This is just where I saw it, and I haven't seen it anywhere else. So if the creator of this is actually out there, if it is you, then good job. <laughs> but if it's not, I, I would love to get in contact with you maybe and uh, see what else you can do. Uh, I, I love this kind of stuff. So the reason uh, the detail is so incredible, I have this picture of it from the back. 
And I didn't even know Halcor had these little screws on the back of his leg, but he went through and painted very, very small screws on the back of Halcor's leg. And it's just so small detail that I don't even think anyone really cares about. I didn't even know about it, but it makes it stand out so much. And it, it just shows the effort that was put into this. So I can appreciate it so much. And I'm so glad you took the time to do it. Um, so that, that is by far my favorite of this episode. So, um, let's wrap this thing up. I'll head back over to the set and, uh, we'll talk about what we're going to do next guys. So see you there. All right guys. So that does it for this video. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this custom showcase. Uh, I want to try to kind of make this like maybe a monthly or like a every two months kind of deal. Um, I don't want to like rank them, even though I did like that Halcor a lot. I definitely give it a number one spot if I was ranking them. Um, but if you have any customs, uh, find me on Twitter, find me on Discord, I'm on Reddit to find me on any of those places and send them to me. And I'd love to just make this giant collection of customs that I can show off to everyone. Uh, I, like I said, I'm really passionate about it. And I think it's really cool for the community to be able to show off their stuff. So um, if you have any of those kind of things, send them to me and I'll definitely try to find you a spot in the next video. So. Uh, but for this one, if you liked any of these Bakugan, leave it down in the comments. I want to know your guys' favorites. Uh, and then, you know, show these guys some love for uh, giving me their their passion work and their awesome paint jobs. And tell these guys how good they did and what you would recommend for uh, maybe other paint jobs or stuff like that. Leave that down in the comments. Uh, other than that, guys, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hopefully, I'll be doing some more of this kind of stuff soon. I hope you enjoy the new set. Again, forgive me for the lighting. I literally have a yellow light and a yellow light and then a window right now. So it's going to get better, I promise. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.